Site responsible, site 114, director B.E. Wang, researcher head B.E. Wang, assigned task force Omega-19. Level 4, F. Valley, object yeah. class Peter, SCP number 3199. Yeah, it's kind of cool they add new shit to old anomalies. Hold on. I don't know if it was, uh, oh, yeah, it was recently done. July 20th of 2024. Oh! All right. All right. <clears throat> this, all right. Special containment procedures. All live instances of SCP-3199 are to be contained at, on site for 114 within modified Keter humanoid containment chamber, hereby referred to as primary containment, the walls of which should be coated with approximately 2 centimeters thick acid-resistant resistant steel. CCTV equipment is installed in the northeastern and southwestern corners. 2 meters of empty space are to be allocated between primary and secondary containment. Secondary containment consists of suspending all live instances of 3199 with a block of solid transparent substance, currently clear as acrylic re re resin. Or, this block is to be at a height of at least 3 meters. One armed security guard is to be stationed outside primary containment at all times. An 8-digit passcode can be obtained from current Site-114 director in order to bypass primary containment. Secondary containment is to be regularly examined for damages, movement, and activity of any kind are to be noted, and current Site 114 director is to be informed at the earliest possible convenience. <coughs> yeah. The temporary recall procedure is detailed in Addendum 3199 03. Experiments involving the use of live 3199 instances are strictly prohibited without approval from at least 2% of Level 4 security clearance or above. As of February 18th, 2019, there are six live instances of 3199 successfully contained. Description. SCP-3199 denotes a species of sapient category 5 biological entities of currently indeterminable origin. Though, though tissue samples indicate the presence of silky chicken, chimpanzees, stoat, muscle, adder, and human DNA. They are typically hairless, stained with thin layer of an albumin-like excretion and stand at an average of 2.9 meters. Its weight averages 780 kilograms for a matured instance and 340 kilograms for a hatchling. Autopsy has determined that the cervical vertebrae of a mature 3199 instance is composed of cartilage rather than bone. This is enables the neck and throat to twist and dislocate to around 340 degrees in either direction, aiding their unusual reproductive cycle. 3199 are opportunistic hunters engaging with life subjects with a radius of 0 0.6 kilometers surrounding hatchlings that have not yet reached full adolescence. Average speed is recorded at 25 kilometers per hour, Upon contact with human or animal subjects, 3199 will proceed to redacted, liquefying internal organs and bone structure. A suitable cadaver is then transferred within range to the closest hatchling. 3199 produces large eggs of off-white coloration and rubbery appearance. An egg will pass through the entity's digestive tract, esophagus, and eventually out via the mouth followed by a viscous red substance, first thought to be a form of placenta, chemically break chemical breakdown has determined it to be a highly corrosive metal material. 3199 shows extreme distress throughout the process, with personnel describing the sound as not dissimilar to a scream. 3199 produces its eggs to fill unoccupied space. It is no known limit to the number of eggs 3199 is capable of producing. And the standing theory is as follows, given enough time, a single instance could single-handedly be forming an 
LK class species transmutation scenario. The termination of a life instance can be achieved through a variety of equal, equally effective methods. 3199 has proven to be around as resilient as a standard human subject. However, complete eradication has proven difficult as all instances of 3199, regardless of age, carry one egg. Within a specialized stomach like organ upon birth, assuring that one living instance will persist through even ordinary means of constant and lethal assault. This biological phenomenon is, is presumed to be, in and of itself, anomalous in origin. A single 3199A can bear a tremendous amount of resilience, maintaining its form and purpose, even following continuous subjection to extreme blunt force, trauma, pressure exceeding 180,000 psi, high precision blades, serrated and non-serrated, and long-term acid exposure. The application of plastic explosives was considered but quickly rejected at higher administration. Heat is the primary component in the growth and development of 3199 eggs. And foundation research PY, uh, PWYGH Bithel was particularly apprehensive towards the idea, believing it would almost certainly result in a second containment breach. 3199 was issued Keter classification on October 6, 6 to 17, following a containment breach. 3199's prior containment method, method a stated water path, was, was disassembled and replaced with a revised containment procedure as listed above. And then 3199 A 01 on redacted 2017 05 redacted dispatched the following notice. All further experiments involving 3199 eggs are strictly prohibited. Hatching periods have proven too unreliable to warrant extensive research, and as consequences of containment breach have become more and more apparent, Elf Life Council has unanimously decided to nip the situation at the bud. When the new and reliable information comes to light, all personnel found acting against the protocol will be subject to standard zero tolerance risk assessment training and a punishment determined on a case by case basis. Thank you for your continued cooperation. 3199 was discovered in redacted Ireland following witness reports of a bald creature crying like a banshee from within an undisclosed area of woodland. These re reports resulted in the dispatch of Mole Task Force Omega-19, who arrived on site with a total of 12 armed personnel. Two personnel were lost in action, their internal organs and jaws having been almost entirely dissolved. During transportation, 3199 produced two offspring, resulting in the deaths of a further six personnel. Addendum 3199-A-02 on rejected 2010, 2017, a thorough sweep of 3199's initial recovery location was enacted in an attempt to recover the creature's origin and purpose. Local reports suggested that the small remote residence in question had been abandoned for at least two decades. Service Team Delta 029-E recovered several items of interest including one bag of assorted threaded needles in various colors and sizes, Approximately 13 chicken carcasses based on a collective halves and quarters, with precise incisions located on the underbelly, neck, and thigh. Six of the carcasses have been plucked via visible human teeth marks lining the bare areas at random intervals. Several containers, including water bottles and Tupperware boxes, holding an unidentified watery paste. The face was deep down in color. In the presence of oxygen, it turned viscous and hard. An A5 notebook, redacted brand, and heavily scratched with what was determined to be human fingernails. The words, New Breed Manifesto, was written on the front cover. Two chicken feather quills. The notebook itself consisted of 24 pages of standard line paper written in non anonymous black ink. 19 of these pages consisted of various cubo cuboid patterns and crude childlike drawings and vaguely resembling 3199. On our main five pages, large lines in writing, de writing detail of the diary of an unnamed individual, so much of the writing script was illegible. One extract in particular dated redacted 
6, 1973, was written in notably higher clarity. If you're reading this, then lucky you. 400,000 hour from that, and it'll be warm and wet and warm. And the wonderful fertility of inferior in human DNA will birth a better area, a stronger ear, one where illegible, and food and water will be nothing but things of the past. As we make and make and make more until illegible. I really haven't much time. That's why I envy you so much. You have all the time you need. Time will be time will be on and on and and on and death will be life. New life needs things to live. New life will be a part of life from now on. The final page consisted of various ink bl blots, 13 instances of the word life in inconsistent sizes, two instances of the word want, want it, want I, want it, sick, and the lyrics to English songwriter Frederick Weathery's Danny Boy in the old Gaelic script. The identity of the journal's author is pending investigation. Addendum 3199-03, Protocol 34-22-B. The following procedure is to occur in the event of Site-114 containment breach in an effort to safely and immediately recontain live 3199 instances. On-site personnel with level 1 security clearance or above assume standard lockdown procedure and evacuate to Site-113 to await further instruction. Site-114 is to be flooded with its entirely by a clean distilled water treated to dissolve Class A sedatives. Oh, wait, with solvable class A sedatives. Surface Team Tango 306-A will be dispatched immediately to retrieve any lingering instances of 3199's eggs. Any living instances of 3199 will be terminated on site and the remaining eggs will be collected. All egg samples are to be transported to temporary off-site containment, containment within a stable water bath. Site-114 will be subsequently drained, and custodian staff will be dispatched to thoroughly clean and sanitize the grounds up to a Green Zero Foundation standard. Personnel intending to breach Site-114 before the inspection is complete will be apprehended and punished accordingly. Note, a, a number of personnel have expressed their accept skepticism regarding the scale of 3199's containment breach protocol. The current flag, we have a reason to believe that the fluid is an excellent counter to 3199's anomalous for reproductive properties. It appears to enter in an inner state in, in the presence of liquid, regardless of thickness or clarity. The living theory is as follows 3199 discerns the liquid around it to be occupied space. Regardless, I believe I speak for all of Site 114 when I say it's quite relieved to have found a safe and consistent method of containment. Dr. Lewis, the sum of 2017. Interview 3199-I-01. Uh, do you want to be one of them, Jerry? Oh, sorry, I forgot that I was muted. <laughs> yeah, I said yes. Uh, do you want to be the uh, subject or the interviewer? I'll be the subject. Okay. Date, October 28th, 2017. Subject, CPL Duncan. Interviewer, Dr. Earwig. Forward. Subject has undergone extensive psychiatric therapy prior to interview, and while the Foundation does not consider them responsible for the deaths of PVT, Mac Lloyd and PVT Langley subject ex expressed feelings of guilt for having neglected Center Foundation Health and Safety Protocol. Begin log. Take a seat, right? Please, if you would. CPL Duncan enters, clears his throat, white noise as he sits, visibly anxious. Could you explain your mission briefly? The job was pretty simple. No auditory or visual triggers that the higher-ups in Site 114 knew about. Seems to me as if they'd done a pretty top job scraping the area clean. Duncan laughs nervously. Huh? Yeah. Now, 
Never is that easy, though. We landed around 2,100 hours. Oh. Oh, 2,100 hours. Sorry. Okay. The boys and I had been told that if we couldn't catch the thing, the next best thing would be to snapping a frame or two. So they, uh, they hooked us up with the best in night vision hardware. Duncan shovels uncomfortably in his seat. And I know you have pictures, Ella. I know you've got something. Paper shuffling, Dr. Ehrlich looks grave. You're under no obligation to feel the recording. No, no, I, I know that. Just shook me a little. Please go on. Found something within the, the hour. Almost like a jack. Totally out of scrap metal and wood. Looked more like an oversized chicken coop than anything else. I don't know what your new monster built. I mean, I just don't know that your new monster built it. Just made it a home. And I left some mule. Entered the AS... Entered ASA... Entered ASAP? Of course. It was a late shift. We wanted this over as quick as possible. I'd like to say that's why I did what I did, but I can't bring myself to make excuses. Duncan places his head and his hands sign. I really, I really fucked it, ma'am. Pardon my French. It's perfectly appropriate, all things considered. However, I'm going to have to ask you to continue explaining the procedure. Right, right. Well, I, I had two of my men stationed back. Private McLeod and Private Langley insisted they take the first charge. Fresh out of training they were. Kids. I should be used to it by now, but... Duncan laughs dryly. <laughs> Never seen a smile get cut down so quick. I know we were there somehow. I mean, it knew that we were there somehow. Jumped right at Private McLeod and... Got expunged the fucking teeth out of his head. I see it wherever I blink, man. That's the shit that stays with you. The foundation will take every measure in providing financial compensation to the families of your lost man. Could you elaborate upon the other casualty? Silence for a moment. Captain Duncan leans back in his chair. A pause. Oh, that's me. My bad. Duncan, please, I urge you to continue. The more we know, the more we can do to stop it from happening again. We barely had time to react before it started moving down the corridor. Right. I guess the adrenaline had just about hit me because I fired off enough rounds to blow a chunk out of its chest. Just as its ugly head was about to round a corner, I saw... Another pause. Captain Duncan shows visible signs of distress. I saw straight fucking moonlight on the other side. Bullseye. Thing let out the most awful scream. As a beautiful little baby boy at home, Doc. You know that? Now we're in the discussion of domestic life. It's not necessary for this procedure, Corporal. Could you please? I have a beautiful baby boy who just wailing when he's cranky to, when he's too cranky to sleep and you know what? every time he does I think about that scream I see it in my head think about what it did and his pod gives him a look as if he's gonna bash his fucking head right against the wall Corporal Duncan now standing gradually sits back down they were good men silence please Ella kill that monster if for no one else, for me. End log. I kind of need therapy. Yep. Now, I send my strongest condolences for the families of those lost during 3199's initial recovery. Furthermore, I'd like to formally request that Corporal Duncan is administered one Class B anesthetic at the earliest possible convenience. No excuses. Dr. E. Ewig, Site 114 Director. I, I can't blame her. That, yeah. that fucked him up. Yeah. 
Addendum 3199-04, Experiment Logs. Experiment 3199-E-01, Heat Exposure, Redacted 2017. Subject, one egg sample from, uh, from 3199. Method, subject relocated to a secure containment cell. Inside temperature of the cell was gradually increased on an average rate of 7 degrees Celsius per minute. Results. After approximately 9 minutes, the egg erupted violently and produces a single hatchling. On-site personnel reacted swiftly to recontain a newborn instance. However, the exces excessive internal temperature appears to have impacted the physical maturity of the hatchling, and it reached adolescence an accelerated rate of 40 seconds. The now adolescent hatchling produced two further instances of 3199. Security response on site was swift, and all three instances were detained cleanly. All subsequent heat experiments involving 3199's eggs have been postponed until further notice. Experiment 3199 E 02 Cold Exposure, Redacted 2017. Subject One egg sample from 3199. Method Subject submerged entirely in liquid nitrogen. Security remained on standby throughout the procedure in light of prior experiments. After approximately 45 minutes of exposure, 3199 had reached negative 190 degrees Celsius. Following two hours of exposure, the egg was removed and placed under a hydraulic press. Results, hydraulic press peaked at the pressures of around 9,000 PSI. Cracks appeared approximately 30 minutes into the exposure before the sample shattered. Egg fragments were collected and furthermore pressed into a fine pulp. No traces of albumin or yolk were, lo were located. Complete incineration of the shells remained for Proved successful in destroying the egg and its reproductive capabilities entirely. Experiment 3199-E-03. Chemical analysis of shell. Redacted. 2017. Sample 10 grams of finely pressed eggshells, eggshell pulp taken from 3199 egg. Results. Detailed chemical breakdown shows traces of nacre, enamel, and currently unidentified carbon compound. Microscope analysis suggests that the shell itself is composed of tightly packed crystalline structure. Practical application of this material is pending administrative approval. Okay. Up, oh, they also got the picture. Uh oh, license copyrighted, used with permission. Alright, since I don't have this thumbnail already saved, we're gonna have to go here. Oh my god. What? I. What? Your thoughts? Uh. It's not accurate. No, it is not. <laughs> they drew the creature cur. Sort of correctly, but like the egg. It's supposed to be an egg, not a fetus. Drawing it sort of correctly doesn't make it correctly. Yeah, and also it's in front of a child and it's able to see that. It would kill a kid. Oh yeah, it would. <laughs> it would kill an adult. Yeah. So, I guess another four for the thumbnail. Yeah. Alright. Are you ready for this? Oh, it's, let's see. As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Wait. Wait. Hold on, I'm looking at the copyright thing. They got credit for Anthony Yanez for SCP-939 Containment Chamber. What? And that jam guy, SCP Containment Breach, Room 2 underscore 3. Oh my gosh, you're not going to even go put it in a correct containment chamber. Mm 
We ready? Yeah, it's ready as hell. Yeah. A little stitch here and a little stitch there. Soon enough. Oh, yes. Soon enough. The time of man comes to a close. We were a willful and indignant box upon this earth. But it wasn't all bad now, was it? A while it has taken, and so many failed experiments along the way. But truth be told, some of them were quite interesting. <laughs> Cow and man, an interesting, but not very likely what? match. Remember the previous one? Yeah. It, I think this is the connected. Like, the previous experiments, uh... cow and man, because it had to bovine and human flesh in the previous anomaly. I, I want to say the SCPs are both not actually connected. Yeah. Pretty, me, it's like, fuck it, we bail. We bail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my oh God. yes. You will combine very well indeed. <laughs> what? Yeah. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP- Oh wait. Okay, for saying that, I thought the thumbnail was on screen again, but I forgot I don't even have it saved on OBS. It literally looked like they put the previous SCP into the corpse of a chicken. Yep, I knew. Yep, so it's def it, these videos are connected. That pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. P3199. Humans. Refuted. Please remember to subscribe and be sure to check out part one first. Chen, Ploss, and Marissa sat in the hotel room. Oh my gosh, just the cat statues there. Pondering the events of the previous night. Chen looked up. Am I the only one who hardly got any sleep last night? You're not alone on that, Agent Chen. The name Rebirther just kept running through my mind all night. What kind of a name even is that? I've been thinking of that too. We don't have much to go on yet, clearly, except for that undead beef. Ferguson also mentioned experiments. Right, so there's someone out there conducting strange experiments involving humans and animals. I think it's time we called in some backup and searched that forest. Agreed. Something tells me that this rebirther isn't going to be easy to find. They move through the forest, looking for any traces of where this so-called rebirther could be. All Ferguson had been able to tell them was that he supposedly had a shack deep in the forest. We've been out wait, here wait, for wait, days. Wait. Nothing. Is this why they had the previous SCP randomly moved to Ireland? Probably. That bothers me. Yeah. Well, if you makes you feel better before we continue, uh, we're almost done. Whoa. Whoa, well, quite fresh there, Lucius. <laughs> yeah. I'll be happy when we get to the of their characters. Yeah. Things turning up. Let's give it until the end of the day. If still nothing turns up, we'll call it off and rethink our next step in the morning. Chen nodded his head in agreement. In the distance, Marissa knelt down by the river. The waterfall created a beautiful backdrop for the idyllic Irish scenery. The water must be amazing, she thought to herself. She took a sip of the fresh water as she Bye. <laughs> Are you trying to connect two SCPs that aren't actually connected? Yes. <laughs> Looked at her reflection in it. Something glimmered and reflected under the water. She reached in and pulled it out. It was a small Tupperware container. From within, she could see a brown paste of some sort and something else. Something was inside the paste. She opened the container. Oh my. Dr. Kloss, Agent Chen, you need to see this. Chen and Kloss came rushing over. What is it? What did you find? She handed over like the container. If you're an SCP scientist, you wouldn't randomly open containers with moving objects inside. Yeah. The brown substance had partially solidified. Within it was a small chicken carcass. 
Any luck? Not yet. We searched the entire area surrounding the river, but nothing's turning up. It's getting late. Maybe we should come back in the morning. Let's give it another hour and then turn in. Roger that. It was closing in on 4 a.m. The men were tired, and since finding the chicken carcass, no new evidence had presented itself. They heard a yell in the distance. Chen ran here. towards where the scream had come from. It was near the waterfall. He saw an agent sitting in the water. What is it? What's happened? Sorry, Zat. Just lost my footing. Well, get up then and get yourself dried off. Yes, sir. The agent stood up, the water splashing off his head. He stopped and looked back through the waterfall. Agent. Agent! Sir, you're not going to believe this. You sure right. about this? Saw it myself. Well, all right. Let's go have a look then. They walked into the waterfall. Arms stretched out before them. Yep. Boss wiped the water from his eyes. Behind the waterfall was a cave. Gaps in the rock above allowed moonlight to come streaming in. A small, dry island stood in the center of the cave, and upon it, a small shack. It was made from rotted wood and bits of old steel, derelict. Yeah, it was just a random island. <laughs> Not a random island. It was a random shack on Ireland. Hello. Yeah, which can happen. It plus the shack supposed to look like a chicken coop. <laughs> Except this looks like a random shack, not a chicken coop. And it's under a waterfall in a cave on an island. <laughs> yeah. Barely standing, strewn around it were bits of chicken wire. It looked abandoned. Chen looked back through the waterfall. Good job, agents. Be sure to fall over in the right place again next time. They moved towards the house slowly, not sure what to expect. They reached the front door. It hung slightly ajar, the top hinge broken. Chen lifted the door off its hinges and dropped it to the side. The room inside was barren, except for a table in the back and a mattress on the floor. The room smelled putrid. Chen searched the room while Klaus headed straight to the table in the back. If you're reading this, then lucky you. One millionth hour from not, and it'll be fun and wonderful. Human DNA will give birth to a new era, a stronger era. I haven't much time. He's looking I at pictures. <laughs> new life will be a part yeah, of life from I now like on. This. Klaus looked up at Chen. A creep. Like, if you didn't want to Chen write words, you can do something like I've seen in other anime or cartoons where they just do scribbles on a paper. Yes. <laughs> it's simple Other as that. People do that all the time, and people. Are it. Right! <laughs> it's simple and easy. Then looked to the corners of the room. Again, another creak of the wood. They weren't alone. Chen motioned to Kloss to keep quiet. Through the broken boards of the wall, something moved, casting shadows into the room. Kloss bent to put the journal down. His eyes focused on the wall as he laid the book down. He froze. Chen's hand went to his weapon. The wall burst apart, and an enormous creature came crashing into the room. What the f- The creature turned its head to look at Chen. It screamed and raised its arms. Chen drew his weapon, two shots to the head. It stood for a moment, then collapsed to the ground. What was, the hell was that? As far as I'm aware, it's more resilient than that. Yeah, also, how did they somehow not draw it properly? Right. Like, the neck isn't even that long, so we can go back to the picture here. The eyes look different. The nose looks different. And it, you kind of can see, like, the jaw and bit of the nose bone poking out. In the yeah. picture. And honestly, the arms aren't that thick. They may not be short arms, but they're not, you know, they're not thick arms. Yeah. They're kind of like chickens plucked of their feathers. Also, and... it looks bigger in the video than here. Actually, it, it, 
the picture looks skinnier and not as tall, and this one looks like a giant fucking beast. Yeah. So they made it bigger. Yeah. I don't know, but Chen stopped mid sentence. Also, they put the, the body leg legs in the wrong spot of the body. Yeah. Body of the creature it twitched. Chen raised his gun at the creature again. It twitched and spasmed. From out its mouth popped a huge egg. I'm done. Uh, this is eggs enough. are not that big. It's not related to kiwi. Yeah. Get a quarantine team in here ASAP. A crack formed on the side of the egg. Too late. Get out of here. Chen shot at the egg, but the bullet bounced off harmlessly. Oh, crap. Kloss looked around the room and then through the open door. Push it into the water. What? Why? Just do as I say. Help me. They got behind the egg and started pushing, but it was too heavy. What the hell is this thing made of? Grab the carpet. Let's pull it out. They pulled the egg through the doorway and onto the edge of the small island. Just as they reached the edge, <laughs> the egg cracked yeah. and another chicken monstrosity popped out. This one, still an adolescent, but still half the size of the previous one. Chen, get in the water now. Floss leaped forward into the water as Chen rolled himself the in. The creature one. sprang yeah. forth after them. It hit the water and immediately stopped moving. It just floated, looking at them. Chen, ho hold up. It, it stops. The water, that's why the rebirther built its home here. The water somehow paralyzes it. Do you think he knew we would find this place? I doubt it. We've had a wide perimeter set up for days now. We would have seen him coming. I don't think he's been here. Maybe he's even abandoned it. So, what's our next move? Get this thing back to the lab and set up surveillance here. I don't want him slipping through our fingers if he comes back. Oh yeah, one thing I just noticed, that it has really sharp teeth. It would have human teeth. Yeah. The chicken monster was laid out on the floor. It was enormous at almost three meters tall and close to 800 kilograms. You see this? Kloss pointed towards its throat. It seems each one of these things is born already pregnant. Though they might not be hard to kill, the eggs are incredibly resilient. Was that Jerry? I just said what because he's barely known it for a few seconds. How do you fucking know already? Right. I could see these guys causing some serious containment issues. Definitely. They also reproduce constantly, like they're trying to fill an empty space, which is perhaps why they stopped when they hit the water. It might have appeared to them as a space that was already completely filled. An agent came rushing in. So we've detected activity at the shack. He's back. Let's go. What? They came through the waterfall once again. Up ahead, they saw a man sitting on the ground. In front of the shack. They don't know who did it. The person is unknown. Yeah, but until they... It's supposed to be unknown, but they know. Like so many other things. <laughs> and that's true. And unless they came out endless. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the one they call the rebirther? The man smiled. I've seen it come to be. A new epoch. A new species. So, you created those chicken monstrosities? Brought them to be birth to say. And that growing meat? The boys? In order to make an omelet, a few eggs must break in the process. You see, no. they were both no. samples to my masterpiece. No. You don't realize. But the end of man is now. I've served my master well. Oh. Oh. They come bucket. Everyone, this is my favorite place to go to. That's why I get pregnant so many times. Hi, Hatchet. Um, we're doing the video where it's based off of SCP-3199, aka Humans Refuted, which was connected to the previous one, 3565. 
for some reason, even though they're not connected on the articles. And basically, he... This piece, what the fuck? Yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can go back a bit. So you can hear what he says. I will say the previous SCP, the, the one that they're trying to connect that connect. Yeah. They used that one to impregnate children, specifically little boy children. In the video. They don't do it in the article. Yeah. In the video, not the article, only the videos from Professor Lucas with ground beef, ground pork, and human meat. Yep. Anyways. They came through the waterfall once again. Up ahead, they saw a man sitting on the ground in front of the shack. <laughs> Are you the one they call the rebirther? The man smiled. I've seen it come to be a new epoch, a new species. So you created those chicken monstrosities? Brought them to be birth to say. And that growing meat, the boys? In order to make an omelet, a few eggs must break in the process. Oh my you God. See, they no. were good samples no. to my masterpiece. You don't realize, no, don't know, but the end of man. <laughs> you okay, Jerry? It's now I've served my master well. Oh, wow, I envy you. So much time still. Well, perhaps. <laughs> The man bit down on something in his mouth. He slumped over, dead. Poison pill, probably cyanide. What did he mean by the end of man? Cyanide and doesn't tell you that fast. No, it doesn't. Even one of the most dangerous poisonous thing that can kill you, it takes like 10 minutes. Like, you, like a pill yeah, or something. So like technically, they yeah. would have time to get him out of that area. Oh, and yeah. Try to get the poison out. Yep. It would make more sense if he cut off his tongue. <laughs> so that would be quicker. Yes, it would. It would be quicker and harder to fix. <laughs> Who's his master? An agent came running over. Sir, the DNA samples you ordered have just come in. And? There's chicken DNA and... Well, something else. So, it's a hybrid. Spit it out. Hybrid what? Chicken and cow? No, sir. They're hybrid chickens and humans. SCP-3. It is part human, but there's part other things too. Why are they just only saying the chicken and the human? I want to punch. I want to fucking punch every one of these stupid characters. <laughs> One nine nine denotes a species of sapient category five biological entities of currently indeterminable origin. Just wait till the Those end. Tissue samples Action. indicate the presence of silky chicken, chimpanzee, stoat, muscle, adder, and human DNA. Instances of Free 199 are hairless, stained with a thin layer of albumin, and stand in an average of 2.9 meters. Yes. <laughs> Weight averages 780 kilos for a matured instance <laughs> and 360 <laughs> kilos for a hatchling. The necks of 3199 appear dislocated and are capable of twisting approximately 340 degrees, presumably due to the nature of 3199's reproductive cycle. Instances of 3199 have been observed producing large eggs of an off-white coloration and rubbery appearance. These eggs pass through the entity's stomach, esophagus, and eventually out via the mouth followed by a viscous red substance. First thought to be a form of placenta, <laughs> chemical breakdown has determined it to be a highly corrosive material. 3199 shows extreme distress throughout the process, oh my God. with personnel describing the sound as not dissimilar to a scream. <laughs> Presumably, due to a biologically ingrained method of avoiding extinction, 3199 produces its eggs to fill available space. This anomalous property currently has no known limits, and as a result may pose an LK-class species transmutation scenario. Termination of 3199 can be performed with relative ease. No! However, 
A complete eradication is currently impossibly difficult, as all instances of 3199 carry one egg inside their stomach. And they can't be killed easily. They're killed difficultly. During survival for at least one member of their species at all times, all live instances of 3199 are to be contained on Site 114 within a Keter humanoid containment chamber, the walls of which should be coated in approximately two centimeter thick acid resistant steel. Two meters of empty space are to be- Oh, Gary, they did it. There's the picture. Yeah. They did it. Hatchet, if you're wondering, this picture, you have to get you have to get approval because the yeah, picture is copyrighted. You crafted the photograph, you need to get permission from in order to use it anyway. Yeah. Be allocated between this chamber and secondary containment. Secondary containment consists of suspending all live instances of 3199 inside a solid block of strong, transparent substance currently clear acrylic resin. This block is to be at a height of at least three meters, with one armed security guard stationed directly outside initial containment at all times. An eight-digit passcode can be obtained from the current Site 114 director in order to access the initial containment chamber and allow for close-up examination of 3199's behavior and appearance. CCTV equipment is, however, installed in one corner of the containment oh, so cell like for remote this SCP was definitely found way before modern times, considering the age the photograph is depicting. Yeah. Observation. Experimentation and scientific research are the tools that will further mankind. However, every step requires forethought and consideration, lest our morals be discarded and abominations created. As always, yeah, Hatchet, as you can tell, at the end of every SCP video for this creator, they do a life lesson at the end. Also, right. <laughs> what do you think of my opinion on what they got wrong on SCP's appearance? That, that's fair. Source CCTV set up metal. Hit three cameras according for room slightly different angles. <laughs> yeah. Legs are placed wrong. Location towards not humanoid enough. Arms not thin enough. Eyes shaped wrong, teeth are wrong, face is wrong, neck is wrong. Yeah. yeah. On to the rubric. Four. Yep, four. For removal of shit. They removed things and they didn't get all the proper permission. Yeah. Moral of the story, big chicken monsters are a bad idea. But hey, they got permission to use SCP-939's containment chamber. <laughs> Three for added gore violence. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. It, it, it's violent. But they are also very violent to begin with. You agree with your own opinion? Because I didn't... Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> Alright. Deviation from the plot of the article. That that heavy Four. deviation. <laughs> it was heavy deviation. Four. They didn't even talk about the, the MTF member that wanted to bash his child's head. <laughs> yeah. They got permission for that. But not the fucking picture they have to actually get to use yes <laughs> yes that's it yes also I, i'd like to comment problematic things at a four right why do you say that jerry well for one it continued on the guy who impregnated the, the um, boys oh yeah the whole like you need to crack a few eggs. I'm sorry, but that that that's just auto four. I'm sorry. Oh no, Hatchet cut. <laughs> yeah, so we'll save it for the Oh god damn it. One of my 
He most got off. Oh. Ad break ends in 20 seconds. So Hatchet should be back soon. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, what? Welcome back, Hatchet. <laughs> Yeah, we said a Vincent for the four because they kept talking about the man and the fourteen, the, the well, young boys. The, the old guy talked about impregnating boys and why it was right. It's the fact that he said it was right. Yeah. And it had to be done. First, no, no. First to send it. It's better if you win this video, y'all. Just watch. At least they you had never nice, talked about it. It's nice music. Yeah. Boys as you have to crack a few eggs. No. No! <laughs> In fact, I think that, that qualifies violence going to four. <laughs> you want to change it to a four? I mean, that's fair. <laughs> well, think about it. He kept insisting that it was the right thing to do, impregnating a little boy. <laughs> that's, so, that's so bad without context. Yeah, it's so bad! <laughs> yeah, the previous anomaly. Like, if you're in its perimeter for an extended period of time, uh, for men, it'll add a uterus and a fetus into your body. And it connected that anomaly with this one, which they're not connected. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, zero percent. They fucked this one up. The previous three have been zero. <laughs> and that's the last one tonight, which is funny enough. That, that's just how I wanted to end my night, hearing some <laughs> old guy rattling on about how he had been pregnant little boy. Sing it. Oh, hi, Anubian. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anubian. <laughs> I'm so sorry that this is the SCP we end on. <laughs> You know what? Just think of 999, SCP 999. And maybe your heart will be warmer. Forget all about this. 